These are my favorite seven AI Chrome extensions that I use pretty much every day to boost my workflow and productivity that you can download for free. They're not only the extensions that I use, but they all have tens of thousands or even millions of other users using them daily and thousands of five-star reviews on Google Web Store too. And if you're a student or a knowledge worker, the last Chrome extension is incredible. I just found it a few weeks ago, so stick around for that. But the one Chrome extension that has had the biggest positive effect on my productivity this year by far is Loom. It's one of those tools that I wish I knew about sooner because it makes life so much easier. Loom basically records your screen and your camera at the same time with one click and you can share the video you filmed in an instant with a link. On the Chrome Web Store with 10,000 plus reviews, he's averaging five stars with more than six million users. The problem I had was when explaining something to an employee or client over Slack or Messenger or WhatsApp, I often have to type paragraphs and paragraphs just to articulate my ideas clearly. Now, I just use Loom and film a two or three minute video and I use Loom pretty much every day. This is my Loom homepage and as you can see, I filmed a lot of Loom videos. I primarily use Loom in two ways. Firstly, I use it internally within my business when giving a task to someone instead of typing out a paragraph of exactly what I'd like someone on my team to do. Instead, I'll just film a quick Loom video and record my screen to help explain it better. For example, I filmed this Loom video for one of my video researchers. He helps me research topics and ideas for these YouTube videos. And so I just hit record with the Loom extension and Loom records my webcam and screen. It's so much faster than typing everything out. And then I just hit the share link button and send the URL to the person I'm giving the task to. It's really that simple. The second way that I use Loom is within the sales process. So instead of writing an email to a prospect, I instead film a loom which is a lot more personable and just provides more information in a shorter period of time. So you can see in my loom library, a lot of these loom recordings are for my other company, Playstack, where we have kind of like a high level YouTube growth mastermind, where high level YouTubers and high level business people come together to take advantage of the collective knowledge. And so in the sales process, the conversions of sending a loom rather than a very generic email is so much higher. So Loom is literally making me money. And before I forget, if there are any other AI Chrome extensions that I've missed out on this list, let me know in the comments and I'll check them out. I love it when you guys give me recommendations in the comments. That's where I find a lot of the AI tools that I'm using right now. So Loom is one of those tools that I wish that I knew about earlier as is ChatGPT for Google. I love ChatGPT, it's one of my favorite AI tools and as the name suggests, ChatGPT for Google basically implements ChatGPT seamlessly into Google search. So this extension wasn't even launched that long ago, but it already has more than 3 million users and 2,600 reviews, averaging five stars. And I find it super helpful because with ChatGPT normally, I have to open another tab in my browser to use it. But with the ChatGPT for Google extension, I have ChatGPT right there with me on the right of my search. So you can see how ChatGPT for Google can speed up your workflow by integrating integrating ChatGPT into your Google searches rather than you having to open a new tab to use ChatGPT. I've been using Keeper Security since 2016. They are the sponsor of this video. In my opinion, everyone should be using a password manager. It still surprises me how many people still don't. On the Google Web Store, they have more than a million users and 8,000 reviews, averaging five stars, which makes sense because Keeper Security was rated the best password manager of 2023 by US News and is known as the most secure, certified, tested and audited password security platform in the world. With Keeper Security, you can easily create and store passwords in a very secure personal password vault that you can access from any device. And when you're logging into your online accounts in just two clicks, Keeper Security will fill in your username and password so you don't have to keep typing out your login information again and again. Keeper Security also have a handy password generator within their Chrome extension, which I use very often. 
I really do recommend you try Keeper Security for yourself. I'll drop a link in the description where you can try it out completely for free. The next Chrome extension is HyperWrite. So HyperWrite is your AI writing assistant from marketing copy and research to everyday communication. He's got more than 100,000 users on the web store and they're growing very quickly. HyperWrite has been super helpful for me. I'm doing a lot of writing these days because I'm posting on LinkedIn daily. And side note, feel free to connect on LinkedIn where I'm posting daily on productivity and AI at Mike the Official. So when writing these LinkedIn posts, when I type, HyperWrite will use words and phrases that will fit my context and style. And it will actually learn from my writing and get better over time. So HyperWrite suggestions when I first started using it were too formal. But over time, as the AI learned my style, within a week, the suggestions from HyperWrite were significantly better. And as someone who suffers from writer's block probably more often than I care to admit, HyperWrite has been an incredible AI writing assistant, far better than ChatGPT and pretty much any other AI writing tool, at least that I've tried. The next AI Chrome extension that I use is Superhuman. Again, it's another tool that I use every single day to improve my productivity and workflow. Superhuman is, as they call it, the fastest email experience ever made. They say you can get four hours back every week. And I can say firsthand when I switched from Gmail to Superhuman, it definitely helped me save hours a week. And just on a side note, their website is one of the cleanest, best designed websites I've ever seen. I've been using Superhuman for maybe six or seven months now, and it's so much better than Gmail. It's more intuitive. I can scrub through my emails faster with keyboard shortcuts. I hit inbox zero far more often, and it's just more aesthetic overall. And their split inbox feature is super useful. I have my inbox split into four categories. My main inbox, where all the emails go into my first company go to. I have a play stack inbox where all my my play stack email goes. I have a calendar inbox where all my Calendly and Zoom emails go. And I have my starred inbox where all my super, super, super important emails go. So I made another video that goes into far more detail why I use Superhuman. You can click on the pop-out banner up here to check that out. So yeah, Superhuman, definitely worth checking out if you're sending and receiving emails constantly throughout the day. The next Chrome extension is Todoist similar to a password manager. In my opinion, everyone should have a task list. I've used Todoist for probably seven or eight years. The Chrome extension has more than 800,000 users and 50,000 reviews averaging five star. I'm not surprised it has that many views. I have my Todoist task list on the home screen of my phone, but I don't like having my phone next to my laptop when I'm working because it's very distracting. So I usually put my phone behind my laptop where I can't see it. The idea being out of sight, out of mind. So I use the Todoist Chrome extension for my task list while I'm working and it's super simple, super easy to use. Todoist did actually recently launch an AI assistant to, in their words, help make your goals more attainable by creating a list of tasks to reach your goal. But honestly, I can't really comment on their AI assistant as I've never used the AI feature myself. I just use the basic Todoist task list, but an AI tool that I do use, all their features is Wisdolia. So Wisdolia is my favorite speed learning AI Chrome extension. It's a relatively new tool, so it doesn't have as many users or reviews as some of the other extensions I've talked about in this video, but the reviews are very positive. This review sums it up for me. I wish I had this back in school. This is super helpful with anything I am learning on my laptop currently, from YouTube videos to certifications. So Wisdolia basically uses AI to auto-generate flashcards from a wide range of learning materials such as YouTube videos, such as articles and PDFs. Basically, how it works is you upload your lecture slides or any material that you want to study and Wisdolia will essentially generate hundreds of flashcards and then you can revise for your exams using the flashcards that were just made for you. And you can use their Chrome extension by going to a website or a PDF or research paper or some kind of written document. In this example, I will use an article from the New York Times. And then I open the Wisdolia extension and I ask it to generate flashcards for me from this website. 
It's a super efficient way of learning. So if you are a student or a knowledge worker, definitely an extension worth checking out. If there are any Chrome extensions that I've missed, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely check them out. And if you like this video, I made another video recently called how to use AI in your daily life. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that right here. And do check out this video sponsor, Keeper Security, link in the description below.